Hey guys, today I am just going to show you this giraffe heat press machine. This is going to be great if you want to do sublimation printing. Um, you can use it for glass, ceramic mugs like I'm going to show you today. You can also use it for tumblers. So the first step that you're going to want to do is plug this in here. Um, and this is just connecting the machine to itself. And then it comes with the power cord and you're going to plug that in. So this is going to come with your gloves, the heat transfer tape, and as well as the instructions manual. First, what you're going to want to do is you're going to need to preheat the machine. So let's put on our gloves here and get started. So now our next step is to go ahead and preheat this. You are going to do that by putting a blank cup or a mug in here. Never do it without one in there. You're going to fold this down and then just go ahead and clamp these right into place. This is just going to make sure that this is nice and snug fit here and is not gonna go anywhere. Then you're gonna push this red button here on the side and then right here there are one through four. We're gonna go ahead and select four for porcelain and then it's gonna go ahead and preheat once, once it is preheated, we are able to remove the mug, put our sublimation paper and our heat transfer tape on this, and then go ahead and process it. Now that this is preheated and I have put my taped on my sublimation paper with the design side down and put the heat transfer tape around it, I'm just going to place this in here, close it. Again, just tighten it down just a little bit to make sure it's in there nice and snug. I am going to push number four. And then I am going to push enter here. This is going to make sure that it is at its optimal temperature and that it is going to be in here for the correct amount of time based on the material. So once that's finished, then I'll just remove it. Okay, great. So now that it is finished, it's time to remove it. I'm just going to turn this off. And then I'll just remove my sublimation paper here and the design will be transferred onto the mug. And this is what it's going to look like when it's finished.